<laughs> yeah, it's been a whirlwind for sure. But, um, you know, really big credit to the team because they've been extremely welcoming and receptive. And um, I think they're excited we're there and we're excited we're there. You know, I think one of the biggest ones is they're, they're, they're such a resilient group. I mean, it's never easy, I think, to have a coaching transition in the middle of your season. Um, I've been really impressed at the, the chemistry of the team and the resilience in terms of their mindset and their willingness to work. And, um, you know, there's nobody that's feeling like sorry for themselves because of the situation they're in. They're just they're just ready to go forward and and not look back. <laughs> That's a good question, Dan. Uh, you know, I, I will be the first to admit, uh, you know, a lot of people had asked me about coaching pro and I think, I think my answer was not no, but hell no. <laughs> <laughs> so to find myself in this situation is pretty unique. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's crazy, even, even just, you know, getting to know this team, like the soccer world is so small and the connections you have. And, you know, we all know somebody who knows somebody and I think that's been really cool to feel like a connection already without even having been there more than a week. Um, and I think, you know, sometimes it's like one of the things we've been selling the team is how often do you get to do a mid season audit? You know, we could all do that with our teams, but how often do we actually do that? And, you know, this source, this situation sort of forces that. And I think that has real opportunity in it. Oh, another good question. I, uh, you know, I think that the fact that we spent the whole first day just trying to gather information, um, both from the players and from the staff, I think they appreciated that platform. Um, and, and for me, you know, you know, obviously I am new to the pro game and they know that I know that. Um, but I also have like a lot of experiences and insights from just coaching for the number of years I have. And ultimately, you know, my goal would be to create a platform for the players to be able to coach themselves. I mean, this is the soccer is a player's game, not a coach's game. Um, and we need to give them the tools so that they're prepared for that. But at the same time, you know, some of these women, most of these women have so much experience and are so competent. Um, and now it's just providing like the structure for them. You know, uh, Maggie and Erica, like they're to Gator greats. And I've, I enjoyed coaching both of them a lot. And I've kept in touch with both of them, maybe Maggie more than Erica, just because she's more current. Um, but, you know, it is nice to see a familiar face when you're standing in front of a team for the first time. And, uh, you know, I think back in the day, I recruited Ashlyn, but, you know, she chose Carolina pretty early in the process. So I don't know how deep that was. Uh, Carrie Lawrence, who's on the team we recruited. Uh, so if, I feel like I have a connection to some of these players, uh, even not outside, outside of the Gators players. But, uh, you know, in the end, it's going to take some time to, to build up some relationship with the players. And I'm looking forward to that. I feel like you know, I'm generally a pretty curious person and inquisitive person. So I'm really looking forward to that part of it. That's, that's a tough one. You know, I think we're going to rely a lot on um, Lloyd and Seb who have been around this team the whole season. Um, they're both very competent coaches and I've already leaned on them a good bit in terms of just, you know, tell us what a typical week looks like a game day looks like. Um, tell us where you feel like the strengths and the weaknesses are of this group and I think the more, you know, Alan and I get integrated with the group, we'll have, we'll be able to offer like our own opinions in that too. But with this short of turnaround, um, I think it's, that's a challenge for sure. Um, but I'm looking forward to that developing as we go. Yeah. You know, I've tried to, I'm, I obviously want them to be informed with what's happening here. So I've asked our staff to keep them in, you know, in the loop with what we're doing, but I also want to respect the fact that they're in a major international tournament with a lot of, uh, plates to spin. So um, trying to keep that balance of, you know, letting them know what's happening, but at the same time, not, um, not interfering with the preparations that they're making as they advance into the knockout rounds. Definitely gives me a comfort level. I, I've known Alan since I was 17 years old and we've worked together obviously for so many years. Um, and I just think we know each other well. We work, you know, we know each other's rhythms. We know each other's uh, thought processes and I think it's kind of cool because you've got, you know, two people who may think similarly in some ways, and then you've got two people who are 
sort of, um, you know, in a different set of circumstances because they've been with the team the whole time. And so I think the goal for us is to sort of meld those two groups together. Oh, they've, they've been amazing. I mean, first of all, they, you know, they're in a difficult situation too, because they don't, they don't know me and Alan, you know? And so I think the fact that they've been very, uh, trust willing in terms of, um, you know, listening to us and going through the process of gathering the information and being receptive to hearing that information. Um, and then just, man, they've been a huge asset because like on Monday, there was training on Monday, but we really wanted to spend Monday gathering information. So they ran that training on Monday. Um, and then Tuesday, we had the first training session and as a group together. Um, and so it's been I, I don't think I could have asked for more from those two than what they've provided so far, because I feel like they've been welcoming. They've provided information and context where in, in areas that I didn't have it. Um, and they've just been super helpful. Well, the whole situation is, you know, sometimes I wake up and I'm like, is this really my life? Um, I think it's crazy because it all went down very quickly. I was on vacation um, and it was like, the first vacation I had had since my retirement, like the first main vacation. And so it happened very, very quickly. Uh, but I think I felt that it was an opportunity that was difficult to pass by because it's just such an interesting opportunity. Like when, when do you get a chance to like be in a situation where you're coaching the best players, like you mentioned, but also be in a situation where, you know, you're sort of, um, getting an opportunity to see what this league is like and see what this whole process is like. Um, but, you know, I didn't say, Hey, let's start this from the beginning and let's dive in with both feet. So it's, I think it's given me an opportunity to, to really be in an interesting spot that I don't know, it just doesn't happen very often. So it was very difficult to, to say no to that opportunity when you get something, that is so interesting and yet at the same time so challenging well i i think it is a delicate balance i think that's a good way of putting it because you know certainly um the pride have experienced some success this season and there's no reason to not build on that um you know you have to give mark and his staff credit for the start that they had to the season and you know where they where they brought this team to this point and I don't want to get rid of the things that they think are going really well. And that was part of the interview process. That's the, one of the reasons we did that was because I wanted to get a handle on the things that were going really well and not change those very much. Um, and then kind of get a, a good idea of the why behind what they do. Um, I don't think it would be wise for me to come in and make just 100% wholesale changes. Um, but at the same time, I think that, you know, when you, when you hire a new coach, you do want them to imprint some of what they bring to the table. So it's finding, like you said, that delicate balance between, um, adding in the things I think can help this group, but not losing the things that they already have. It's been a little back and forth. I'm in Gainesville today trying to get myself organized. Um, but you know, I, I'm really hoping to get settled by, you know, by tomorrow, be able to look at a couple places and be permanently in Orlando starting next week. So my plan is not to go back and forth. That's not, uh, that's not ideal by any stretch. And I think it's also not ideal because I really want to integrate myself in, in that community, you know, and be able to be accessible um, as much as possible. You know, this isn't, I'm, I'm not looking at this as an interim situation, not from a title perspective, but more from like, I'm not one foot in one foot out, like I'm in and we're going to see where it takes us. And I think from that standpoint, um, I'm really excited about the entire experience.